Good morning, everyone. My name is Mr. Cuddy, and it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to our opening school liturgy as we prepare for this weekend of Thanksgiving. Today we gather as a school community during this year of love. Typically, we would gather as a community in our gymnasium to welcome in the new school year, as well as welcoming our new Titans. Although this is anything but a typical year, we will continue to honor the many long-standing traditions and principles that make All Saints the wonderful school that it is. For those of you who are new to our community, you will see, hear, and notice many, many times over the next few years the reading from the Gospel that always falls on All Saints Day. It is the reading of the Beatitudes. When our school was founded, our predecessors identified this was to be the fabric of who we are as a community and what would define us as a school. As you enter these front doors of the school, you will notice these words. Lord, make us people of the Beatitudes, professing out faith, acting with love, and imparting our hope to the world. Take heed to these words and live out this gospel message, and you will experience what it means to truly be an All Saints Titan. This morning, it is my pleasure again to welcome Father Francisco, our pastor, as well as Brendan Orion, our youth pastor, from St. John the Evangelist Parish here in Whitby. Buenos dias, Padre Francisco, and welcome, Brendan. I would also like to take this time to thank our amazing chaplaincy team for their organization of today's liturgy. You truly are a wonderful group. I would also like to acknowledge and thank our newly formed grade 11 leadership class under the leadership of Mr. Mora for all their work in the organization of this year's Thanksgiving food drive. Thank you on behalf of the entire school community for this extremely important initiative. Hi. My name is Reagan, and I am a grade 12 chaplaincy student here at All Saints. I've been a chaplaincy member for my entire high school career, and I am so happy to have the opportunity to continue being a member in this, my final year of high school. Let me introduce you to our chaplaincy team. We're a group of young, faithful, dedicated students with a desire to serve our community. Our chaplaincy team is more like a family, and I'm so proud of all of our efforts to make the most of this school year. At the beginning of each year, we usually come together for worship at our opening school mass. We usually gather together as an entire community in the gym and hear from our wonderful choir and band, readers and pastors, as they use their gifts to share the message of God. This morning, we will come together as a school community in a different way. Though we're all in our own classrooms, we're still united as an entire school community in prayer. And that is a beautiful thing. This weekend, many of us will be celebrating Thanksgiving. May we keep in our minds and our hearts the source of goodness in our lives, knowing that God provides all things. With gratitude in our hearts, let us begin our liturgy. Please stand. We respectfully acknowledge that we, here in the Durham region, are on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island. We acknowledge the generations of wise men and women, the story keepers and tellers, who have gone before us. We open our minds and hearts to the presence of spirit to guide us through these explorations with good minds and good hearts. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate Thanksgiving, we bow our hearts to you and pray. We give you thanks for all you've done, especially for the gift of Jesus, your Son. Let us always be aware that all gifts come from you, and may we serve your heavenly will in everything we do. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wonderful things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart, and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. Response, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. Response, I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your wonderful deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. Response, I will praise your name forever, Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great to kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. Response, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Response, I will praise your name forever, Lord. Please stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not them made clean? But the other night, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then Jesus said to the Samaritan, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So this gospel is very good for this uh, special feast that we celebrate, which is uh, Thanksgiving. It's very important to be thankful in our lives. Many times we don't, we don't recognize that we should be thankful. Many times it's easy to, to complain, to grumble, to see that things are not going well, and we have all of us reasons to complain. But does at the end take away our peace? We find that life is bitter. So it's important that uh, in this gospel it gives us a virtue of being thankful. And it's important to stop ourselves and ask ourselves, what do I need to be thankful? You know, to be thankful, it means that whatever we receive is a gift. It's not something that we deserve, that we have worked for it. For instance, what do we need to be thankful for? For instance, the first thing is the gift of life. Mm -hmm. Our life has been given as a gift from God. It's not something that we can gain for ourselves. Our family, our parents, our friends, the school, all these are gifts and many times we take for granted and we just take them uh, as something that is there. But it's important to be grateful even in this time for our health, for having each other. And especially the most, thing, the most important thing that we need to be grateful for is to have experienced the love of God, Jesus Christ. 
the life that he gives us. So today I invite you to take a moment and to be, to say thank you to God, to say thank you to your parents, to say thank you to your teachers, mm -hmm. to say thank you for all so many blessings that we have. And that will make you feel much more at peace. It will allow you to see life with different eyes, to see the beauty of every day, the amazing gifts that we have every day. And what is important is that God loves us freely. And that's a gift that every day we have. And many times we don't remember that we have it. And that's also what makes our life beautiful to experience how much God loves us. So let us today ask the Lord for this gift to be grateful, okay? to say thank you for, to the people. Many times we don't say thank you. We take things for granted because we deserve them or they are just there. It, it happens. But it's important I think when you go home, your supper is ready. When you wake up, your clothes are clean. Many times we can say to our mom, thank you for doing that. To our dad, thank you for doing that. And that will give us a life that is more joyful. So may God bless you in this feast of thanksgiving. And may the Lord may fill our hearts with thankful thoughts. May God bless you. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, deacons, and other religious leaders, that they may be strengthened in their mission to faithfully serve Christ and his people. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may be led by the Holy Spirit in love as they serve the global community. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For the All Saints school community, including students, families, and members of staff, as we begin the new school year and celebrate Thanksgiving, may we be mindful of, open to, and grateful for all the blessings poured out to us by God the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our friends and members of our family, who await the kingdom, that they may be granted an eternal home in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We spend a moment in silence for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no richness to life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanses of space that draws us beyond the definition of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in our communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other land who calls us to grow in understanding. For children who lighten our moments with the light. For the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day. For life and one more day to love. For opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace. For neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved. For your grace and one more experience of your presence. For your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For all these blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 
All saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, All Saints. It can be difficult to think of Thanksgiving in very challenging times. What are we to be thankful for? I like to think of a word that my favorite author, Tolkien, coined. That word is eucastrophe. It, sound, it may sound familiar because it's the same root word as Eucharist, meaning Thanksgiving. So Tolkien said that this word used to, is used to describe some amazing and great ending after what seems to be impossible odds of defeat. He was a devout Catholic and considers Jesus' death on the cross the greatest example of a eucastrophe. But he was also a man who lived through two world wars and a global pandemic. He could see through the dark times and see the good that God can work even through the darkest days. So let us wait prayerfully and patiently for the eucastrophe that God is preparing for us. Not just the joy of heaven, but the end of this pandemic and the time that we could all come together and celebrate in community. So happy Thanksgiving, stay safe, and God bless. Hey Titans, it's the leadership team. As we all know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So let's support our local community by donating non-perishable items to the Salvation Army. You can do so by dropping them off into the bins just outside the front doors on your arrival. Don't worry, online titans. Everyone can also donate to the Society of St. Vincent de Paul on School Cash Online through the link on our Instagram bio. This link will also be placed on Edsby. Mr. Cuddy has allowed us to have a pajama day if we reach a total of $2,000 in donations and food items. So it's up to you, All Saints. We're collecting from Monday the 5th to Friday the 9th. Be sure to check out our Instagram and Twitter pages because we're always busy with something. Thanks for watching and good luck. Despite the unique changes during the school year, our chaplaincy team is up and running under the direction of Ms. Defonso, our school chaplain. If you would like to follow our journey or even join the team, we would love to have you. Here are the details. Happy Thanksgiving from the All Saints Chaplaincy Team.